Welcome to ClickBank and congratulations on completing the initial process of creating a ClickBank account. We would like to give you a brief overview of how to navigate through your account so you can get started right away. There are now two sections to a ClickBank account. The first section is called the master account and the second is your individual sales account. Your sales account is referred to by its account nickname. The master account section is what you see after signing in to ClickBank.com with your email address. The master account section provides the tools and resources needed to support multiple accounts from a single login portal. From within the master account, you can create sales accounts, manage them, and view basic aggregated sales history. And later, if you're selling your own product, manage your transactions and customer support. When viewing the master account, you will see several tabs on the left side of the page that provide access to different tools for managing your accounts. Since ClickBank accounts can be used for both affiliates and sellers, we would like to briefly highlight some key areas that are applicable to each role. If you are an affiliate, the dashboard and account pages are the two main areas you will work in. The dashboard page displays a brief breakdown of your sales earnings for your singular account or for multiple accounts. The accounts page is where you can create, access, or link existing sales accounts to your master account, which provides that single login portal. This new feature is a simple way to access different accounts. To access a sales account, simply click the Accounts tab within the master account. You can easily create a new sales account by clicking the Create Account button on the right side of the Accounts page. Please note that although you can easily create multiple accounts, as an affiliate you can promote as many vendors as you would like within one account. It is not necessary to create multiple accounts to promote different products or sellers. As a seller, you can sell up to 500 products within one sales account. So if your products are all within the same niche, you can sell them from the same account. The other four tabs within your master account are primarily used by sellers. Those tabs are tickets, transactions, reporting, and users. The Tickets tab directs users to the Tickets page. This is where sellers can manage their customer requests. Customer requests include technical support, refunds, and cancellation tickets. The Transactions tab directs users to the Transactions page. This is where sellers can locate an order using various search fields to search for it. The Reporting tab directs users to the Reporting page. This page is where sellers can view detailed information about ticket clerk and shipping analytics. The Users tab directs to the Users page. This page is where sellers can create API keys and manage clerk permissions. Please note that clerk API keys are for specific users. If you want to create developer API keys, you must create these within this individual sales account. The Profile tab directs to the Profile page where users can enter personal information. Banking and payment information is stored separately for each individual sales account. If you wish to change your payment methods, frequency, or other payment information, you must make those changes by accessing the individual sales account. Also, please note that you are unable to edit the email address associated with a master account. If you notice that you have created a master account with the wrong email address, please create a new master account with the correct email address. For more information and a video on navigating the master account, please check out the Knowledge Base article located on the Support tab below. Now that we have a basic understanding of the master account section, let's proceed to an overview of the individual sales account. This is the Manage Account Nicknames page that is accessed through the Accounts tab. Each sales account that is linked to a master account is identified by its account nickname on this page. ClickBank does not have account numbers assigned to individual sales accounts. However, you will often hear the account nickname referred to as an account ID or ClickBank ID. The account nickname is how your promotions are differentiated from all others. So when you create a hop link as an affiliate or a payment link as a seller, you will need to know the account nickname associated with your account. 
Please note that since most of your account's inner workings and setup happens from this point, most of the knowledge base articles start here. When you first log into your sales account, you will see several tabs located across the top of the page on the horizontal bar. These tabs are Dashboard, Reporting, Account Settings, Vendor Settings, and Resources. Above these tabs are some quick links to the ClickBank Knowledge Base. And the Affiliate Marketplace. The Knowledge Base contains tutorial articles and policies to help you familiarize yourself with ClickBank. The Affiliate Marketplace is where ClickBank affiliates can find products to promote and create hop links to track their referrals. For more information on accessing the Marketplace and creating hop links, please see How Do I Create Hop Links and What is the ClickBank Marketplace? We will now focus on just a few key areas in your sub account to help you get started. The first page we'll take a look at is the My Accounts page. To access this page, click the Account Settings tab. On this page, you can find details such as your account information, contact information, and payment information for your sales account. To update your payment information, scroll down the page until you locate the payment information box, then click the edit link located in the upper right corner of the box. Please note that all sections that contain information that can be updated by the user contain a small edit link in the upper right hand corner. When you click the edit link, the information editor will appear and you can make any necessary changes to that particular section. Once you complete making the changes, click the save changes button. Changes made to personal information, such as payment information, account email address, payee name, and physical address, will require you to confirm the change through the confirmation email that is sent to the email address associated with this specific sales account. These changes will not be reflected in your account until you confirm them via the email. For more information about how to change your account information, Please see the knowledge base article, How Do I Update My Contact or Account Information? It's important to note that you cannot change your sales account password on this page. All of your sales accounts are tied into your master, so log in using your email address and you will always access your sales accounts via the master account login and then by clicking on the accounts tab. The next important tab is the vendor settings tab. The vendor settings tab is primarily used by vendors. However, there are certain features that are also applicable to affiliates as well. Within the My Site section of the Vendors Settings tab, sellers, aka vendors, can set up their customer support and marketplace information. This page is also where both affiliates and sellers can set up features such as integrated sales reporting, aka tracking pixels, instant notification services, commission tiers, as well as allow and block affiliate lists. The My Features section of the Vendor Settings tab is where sellers can enable their account for seller-specific features, such as coupons, flexible refunds, and commission tiers. The My Products section is where sellers can set up different product types and upsell flows. All added products and upsell flows are approved by the ClickBank Compliance Department. For more information on setting up products and submitting them for approval, please review the Seller's Help section within the Knowledge Base. The next tab we'll review is the Reporting tab. The Reporting tab directs users to several pages of detailed information regarding hops, sales, and paychecks affiliated with this specific sales account. The reporting tab has five sub-tabs, analytics, paychecks, transactions, subscriptions, and shipping. The analytics tab is the default display. This page shows live analytics around promotions related to this sales account. 
The Paychecks tab displays detailed information for individual pay periods. This page is where users can view the current net balance, status of CDR requirements, of payment thresholds, and payment send dates. For a more detailed overview of these sections, please review the knowledge base articles for each specific section. We hope that you found this welcome video informative as you get acquainted with your new ClickBank account. We look forward to working with you and helping you automate and grow with ClickBank.